What's going on, people? This is Ty Shira Say for Computer Music Academy, and welcome back to Playing With. In this episode, we're going to talk about Plugin Boutique's The Big Kick. This is a very fun, very cool, very easy to use kick drum plugin that's made up of a couple of different sections. Uh, one, you have your sample section because you can import and manipulate samples in real time and then watch the waveform update in real time, which is very cool. Uh, you also have the body section, which is more for analog modeling. Now, the combination of the two, you can get into trouble very quickly. Things can really get out of hand. So for full disclosure, I actually have a limiter on my master track, so you don't catch any crazy distortion or just it can get very, very, very silly. Trust me. So with those two sections, then you also have a master section. And of course, this has your master volume. You have an info which takes you to the back of the plugin. You can see a couple of different settings. Uh, you actually have a one shot feature when you're dealing with MIDI notes and samples and whatnot. You can play the sample. And the minute that you take your finger off of the pad or the key, it's going to cut that sample short with the one shot on. It's going to play that sample all the way through, no matter how long you keep your finger on the pad or the uh, key. You have an autoplay feature, which is very cool. When this is on, you can press play in your DAW and it's going to play according to the master volume. Now that's gonna come in handy because I wanna take you through some of the built-in or preset uh, kicks that they've made, which is, uh, I believe, over a hundred. And you can get through the browser right here and pick it that way. Or you can go file, browse, manage, and just for open the browser here, click the auto load section. And anytime you click a particular kick drum, it's going to load automatically. So let's check a few out. And you can see there's broken down by genre and by artist. Let's see, go to Freemasons. Yeah. And hopefully you're beginning to see the possibilities with this plugin just by listening to the presets. But this is only the beginning, trust me. Let's go down to uh, unclean real quick. some of the demos nice and back to default so we can close the preset manager right there and what I want to do now is actually go through the sample and body sections and show you all the possibilities with this particular plugin so another very cool thing about the plugin is the ability to cut off uh, both of these sections, you can cut them both off and listen to them independently. So this is sample by itself. This is the body by itself. And let's go back up to sample. And you could actually load samples in a couple different ways. Uh, go to load sample. You can bring in your own samples there. You can go to bank. And here you have, I believe it's 300 plus attacks so you can choose your attack which is going to be the main part of your drum in which you're going to build the analog section around so you can go to say like classic drums and here you click on this drop down and now you see all of the kick attacks in that particular folder or section so we can just go through debut a few of these And like I said, you have over 300 available uh, between genre, between style, between producer. Very, very cool. As I said before, you can load your own samples. 
You can go here, choose a sample, then edit it from there. Another thing that's very cool about this plugin, I absolutely adore, is you can do this right here. I'm gonna go to this particular section, choose this kick drum, and drag it, drop it right there. Now, not only do you have that particular sample imported into the plugin, but anything that's within that folder, now you can browse from the plugin. So, as I said, things could get very silly just in this aspect. Actually, I kind of like that one. Let's let's work with that one right there. Now we can go to the high pass filter and adjust that. The decay. And the gain for the sample. Like that right there. So that's a good start. Now we can go down to the body and add the analog modeling on it if we wanted to. Let's uh, cut this off for now and just play around with the body. And here, that's our, our core sound right there. This is where we're gonna start. And of course, down here you have the amp and the pitch section. So we can adjust the attack of the amp. And once again, you see everything edit in the waveform in real time. You have the hold right there. Like that, the decay. Nice, nice. Now we can get down to the pitch section and adjust the deepness. Again, keep your eye on the uh, waveform. You can see and hear this thing being edited in real time. Adjust the curve. Gives it a high Q sound. And the start of the pitch. Timing. Almost a 909 type sound. And here it is it's very cool because you can adjust the uh, actual note of what you're playing. So currently we're on G1 and as you can adjust the dial, you see the frequency dial in right here. You can also dial your frequency directly in if you, if you choose to. Yeah. Another thing you can do is click the drop down right here and select a note, which is very cool. I like that a lot. And that's only one of the body modes. You actually have two. You have the original and you have tough. And let's see what tough does to our uh, analog sample. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. So once again, as we can, as we continue to move on, I hope you see, begin to see the possibilities because they can get very, very crazy. So one thing I want to do now is bring our sample back in and let's edit them together and create this really, really, really sick sound. Woo. There we go.
like how that sounds. But that's not all. A couple of things we didn't cover when we went to the master section is the editing wave. These are two other body sections. The wave, you click that on and you actually get different drive modes as well as the drive and the phase. You can adjust the uh, amount of each. So let's go here. We're in distorted right now. Yeah. I'm trying to decide, do I like the dirty, the hum, that's crazy, or the clipper better. Let's stick to the clipper for now. And the last is the edit, which is going to be in the, uh, sec the uh, analog section again. And this is adjusting uh, the EQ, so you got mid frequency and mid gain. And now you hear more of the sample in there. High shelf. And of course, you can drag, click and drag your mouse to adjust these parameters. The width. Not much difference on that one. Punch. Not much difference there either, but that's no big deal. You can adjust the gain of the body right here. Go up to a negative, uh, positive six, if I believe. That's sick. Adjust the high pass right here. So say 40. The pitch of the sample. You can hear the uh, pitch adjusting on top of that sample, on top of the uh, analog modeling. That's crazy. Uh, just the velocity sensitivity. Now, here's a very cool feature right here. As you hear it right now, I'm hitting different keys or different pads and I'm getting the same note because it's at a fixed pitch. One thing you can do is click here, go down to MIDI, and now this is going to play uh, basically in keyboard mode. Yeah, I do like that. And you can adjust the uh, attack of the tune, the tune, the attack. Yeah. One thing that uh, is not mentioned is even though this is a kick drum plug in, you can import any sample you want. So 
That's the clap. Yeah. Once again, things can get very, very silly. You can purchase Big Kick from PluginBoutique.com for $65 US. And yes, it is an instant download. Use the link down below and you'll be helping out CMA in the process. On that note, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for more reviews, tutorials, and exclusive courses, make your way over to ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.